I think we're all saying um, this isn't a thing where all food related things can just be on one person. Like both right. people need to have some role and like skill set yeah. associated with this. But again, we can like the cooking thing say at least hypothetically. Although apparently you're showing me up and you can bake, I can't bake. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like you, it's something you can parse out, right? You can say like, well, there's a lot of different things that go into like nutrition and cooking and health, like all those mm. things. We can break it down and say, well. You can specialize in this and you can specialize in that and between the two of you like everything will be, a bit cover all the bases can you think about any ways that like love and belonging and emotional health has like sub components that you can say well the like a father and a husband should really develop this sort of skill or um propensity or attitude and like a mother and wife should so do. so for jack is to break down the stereotypes and don't go for that where dad has to be so so like yeah rigid rigid and this dad's allowed to cry so like i've cried in front of my children so that they understand like it's okay yeah it happens because everybody has feelings um because naturally that's that's life like i'm not always going to be the strongest like and I guess maybe that could be an issue because you always look at your you look at your father. And I know you both of you looked at your father as like, like so right. much higher up in the world. Right. But I think it's also good to teach your children that you know um, we feel emotions. We're that you're still we're, safe we're ne- to go to. But that I think, I think um, we're emotional as well. You know, I I think for me that's my personal opinion that um, that mom is nurturing as well but i could be as nurturing i'm not, i'm you know i think a, a kid has a different feeling with their parent uh with their mother i think there's but, still some stereotypes there's like some girls stereotypes. you know if our girls are dating or anything like that i would imagine yeah maybe not they would come to me i would help them with that i would come with mm-hmm. that with bedtime and just feeling safe you know, i think we've just established that as much as we both have that that's kind of, you know when they call someone in the middle of the night for that comfort it's mom still so i don't know i mean that may not be for everybody i feel like in a lot of cases that's probably still i think like looking looking kind of back in time of like how how can you prepare yourself one thing i would say for both partners is to like take some time to sort out your baggage and yeah. like your upbringing like what was good mm-hmm. and what wasn't yeah. and don't ju- like you have to take time to do that like we have friends for instance mm-hmm. who are like i'm only having one kid why because my sister and I did not get along, and like that's how, and yeah. like so, so, so it's like works. well, but like <laughs> yeah. that was one situation, and like was that a result of parenting? Was that mm-hmm. a result of like just the nature of that one sibling? Like, or similarly, like oh well, my parents, like my father was this way, and my mother was this way. Well, it doesn't mean you have to perpetuate that. Did that work? What worked about it, and what didn't? And mm-hmm. so I think like that, like kind of making sure that you are being self-examined about yeah. like what was positive and what was negative and what do you want to pass on to your children? Because everybody has that, right? Like, I mean, I think, honestly, I have the best parents in the whole world. Mm -hmm. I think 90% of what they did, I'm like, you made the right choice every time. Mm -hmm. But, like, everybody has something with their parents that are like, I wish it was more this way or more that way. So both examining that, but then not overcompensating for it, where you're like, well, I wish my parents were more nurturing. So now I'm, like, way overbearing with my kids. Mm -hmm. Like, so I I think that that's something that's... Like, recognizing your own... Like, uh, not taking for granted that, like, you're seeing things clearly. It's almost right. like you're mm-hmm. saying, like, double check yourself and, like, peel away at your own assumptions. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. 